Um, I have two rubber balls that I'm going to roll down the ramp behind me and let the balls collide with the wooden block at the end of the ramp. The balls have very nearly the same mass but very different elasticity. So when I drop the two balls, you'll see they bounce differently. Okay? Okay, so this ball is very bouncy, high elasticity. This ball, not very bouncy, low elasticity. So let's roll the balls down the ramp and see what happens when they collide with the wooden block at the end of the ramp. So first the not bouncy ball, we'll roll it now. It collides with the wooden block and makes it shake around, but the block stays where it was after colliding. Now the bouncy ball, we'll roll it down the ramp and see what happens when it collides with the wooden block. Here it comes. So what is it about those two collisions that causes a different thing to happen to the wooden block? That's the question that this demonstration is meant to uh, raise. And answering that question will help you understand uh, conservation of momentum in a collision.